Hello tankers, this is Pearl Ma'am. I today I am going to show you how to download mods for World of Tanks. Uh, my motto is making amateurs out of noobs, and this will be one step to make an amateur out of you. So today I'm going to install Jimbo's mods, and uh, as you can see, my cursor right here is pretty cool looking. It's got the the reload time on the left. It's got your health on the right, um, and basically uh, that's that's the main thing why I like uh, Jimbo's mods. It's it's pretty cool. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to get uh, Jimbo's XVM mods, which you can see um, all the stats of everybody over here. You can see uh, their win rate and their WN8 rate. Um, if I press tab, you can see all that. And you can see the, the chance to win. You can see um, their rates and everything. Um, and also XVM also has a nice little add-on for the... For the map, uh, it gives you your radio range in the red, it gives your view range in the green, and it gives you, uh, it tells you the tanks on the map, and it also unspotted tanks. Anyway, without further ado, I'll show you how to, to get this. So, the first step is to open up a browser. I don't remember the website, but I just search Curse World of Tanks, and you can see it's the first thing that comes up. Curse, uh, this website has a lot of mods for, I think, many different games, but uh, all I care about is World of Tanks at the moment, and the World of Tanks mods, it shows up uh, the most commonly used mods, and Jimbo is the main, and then Aslan, Aslan uh, is another one. I don't personally like Aslan, I like Jimbo's better. So I'm going to get both of Jimbo's. So I'm going to open a new tab, open this in a new tab. We'll go to the crosshair mod. Um, here's a list of the description of everything and how to install it, um, which I'm going to show you even better. One thing that you need to do for this one is don't just go to download now here. Go to other downloads and download this one, not the curse client. Get this one. It's the most recent one now. The, the most recent one right now is 1.42, and you can see the game version is for update 9.3. Well, I guess I clicked it. I didn't mean to, but anyway, um, it's gonna download. It didn't start to download. Well, I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna download this one, not the Curse Client. So I click on that. If your download your download will begin in three seconds. Now it works. Save it to my desktop. And then uh, I go to the XVM config, which was in the other tab, and I go to other downloads. Uh, this one you can actually just click download now, but I always go here just to make sure nothing's funny. Update 9.3. and we'll download that one save it to the desktop so now you have I have both of the mods on my desktop right here and now I go to my world of tanks folder which is usually a, a default I think it, it installs it to your your operating system hard drive games world of tanks then go to res mods open up this this is the crosshair mod and open up res mods and just take these two folders so so what these numbers mean is these are each version for the old world of tanks um, right now 9.3 is the current so I am going to put this in here merge them and then copy and replace everything. I'm not going to copy this one because this is my zoom out, which I'll talk about. And everything else, you can copy and replace. There you go. Uh, for you, uh, you can copy and replace that zoom, uh, that uh, wh whatever that file was. But I didn't because I changed mine. Close out that. Now we install the XVM. You open up the XVM. The res mods, merge them, and copy and replace. Oh, 
Doom for all. Now your mods are all good. So to show you again the mods, I go to the world of tanks. And this is a replay. And, and you should have all your um, mods adjusted. And that's how you do it. Um, one thing that you need to do is uh, with the default setting for the zoom out mod that is included in the Jimbo's crosshair, this is about the zoom that you're going to get. You're going to have to change a file in order to get a zoom out like this. The zoom out like this is very advantageous. For example, in this city, let's, let's say that there's a tank right behind this house. I can't see him with this view. There's no way I can move the, the camera in order to see him. I can super zoom out, and then I can see right behind that house. And that can be advantageous in certain situations, which is really nice. Um, these mods are really, really helpful, specifically the XVM. Um, the statistics, yeah, who cares? Uh, it, is, it is helpful a little bit. But the main thing is this, this, this radio range in red on the minimap and the, the view range on the green. That tells you exactly how far you can see and how far you can uh, see spotted enemies. Uh, for example, I have no view of these two guys over here because they are out of my radio range. But this tiger, he is within my radio range, so I can see him. Another thing is the fact that unspotted enemies that were spotted in the past come up as these little grayed out red icons. This is huge. Also you can see the little light bulbs. These people are not spotted yet and this guy it, it are they everybody with lit up lights are have been spotted. This red light means that they're not spotted currently but they were spotted in the past and this yellow light means they're currently spotted really really cool and really advantageous if everybody's spotted and on the mini map you can see that uh, not in this case but if everybody was over here um, and all unspotted and spotted enemies are all over here uh, the grayed out icons and the red icons then you could see that the the magic forest would be open um, in that hypothetical um, also uh, the the stats are somewhat helpful. You can press Alt, and you can see the win rate above each tank. That's somewhat helpful, so you can gauge the player that you're with. Uh, if you have a tomato, which is a, a red, low win rate, a 45% win rate, um, and you guys are going to hold the front together, you, you can kind of be like, yeah, i got to not trust this guy as much. Also, when you're gauging your enemy, this guy is not quite a tomato, but he's not that good, so you can be a little more careless around him however um you know you should never be careless around even a tomato you know uh, that's what makes a good player you, you never underestimate anybody however um if you see the way they're playing and they're a tomato you can kind of forget about them for a little bit in certain situations anyway uh to show you how to do the zoom out mod you should You should, uh, now I don't know the site, but once again, I will just Google it. And uh, so, uh, super, actually, I'll just do camera mod world of tanks. Um, where is it? Uh, it's right here. Uh, wot com. And he has a little video of how excessive he zooms out. And you can download this one. Uh, this is the latest one. Save. I opened up the file. And here is uh, this is the file that you want to change avatar input handler.xml. I don't know how to edit it. But uh, I'm going to put this on my desktop so we can look at it. 
and you can see that it has um, you know some code, some XML code, and this probably has something to do with uh, the zoom. Um, I think uh, in arcade mode, this is another thing, the sensitivity and blah, 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 blah. I just changed it, but who wants to do that, right? So just take their one um, and put it in here. So I take it, I'll move it in here, copy and replace, which I won't do now because I have another one right here. And that will change all your, your inputs. Uh, to allow you to zoom um, and of course you can learn how to edit it you can learn how to edit it and uh, be able to do custom zooms anyway that's how to put mods in your world of tanks I think these two mods are very very helpful for the reasons I outlined and um, this will be pretty cool for you guys thanks for listening bye